Today we're going to go through my side stretching series. Um, it's a full series that takes you through some really basic stretches, um, but I've kind of grouped them in a specific way to kind of help ease and coax the body into relaxing. Um, what people don't seem to understand about stretching is that you can do it all day and you're not going to get any more flexible if you're doing it wrong. Um, and there's a whole lot of content that I can go into on that, but this is supposed to be a short video. If you're interested in safe stretching methods, I have a webinar coming up where I'm probably going to spend at least an hour um, talking about how stretching works plus stretching you guys out. I'm going to try and do those one of, one of those like at least every couple months because so many people want to know how to stretch safely without injuring their muscles. So one of the things that I'm going to talk about is the comfort zone. Your comfort zone is where you're stretching and you can feel a gentle stretch, but it doesn't hurt. You can go forward and you can feel that point where you're like, okay, if I go any farther, it's going to be uncomfortable, but I'm good here. I'm comfortable here. That's your comfort zone. We're going to stay in the comfort zone, but we're going to try to increase the comfort zone without causing any pain or discomfort. Okay, so I'm assuming that you're already warm. You should absolutely not do any of these stretches if you're cold. Take a class, do a bar, jump some rope, run in circles, do some jumping jacks, get sweaty. You should be sweating for 15 to 30 minutes. Your body should be completely um, warm. Your muscles should be saturated with blood and oxygen. So we're going to start with the feet a little bit wider than hip width. I would say this is the width of like a Pilates mat maybe. And I'm going to start by reaching the arms out to the side and I'm going to reach up towards the ceiling with one arm and down towards the other or down towards the ground with the other arm and then come back up. And when I come back up, I'm going to push against something that isn't there with both arms. So I'm creating my own resistance to the other way. We're going to reach reach that arm as far down as you can and as far up as you can and then push against resistance as you come up. So these are some resistance stretches and we're just slowly kind of activating those muscles and finding our limit, finding just where that comfort zone is. And to the other side, pushing down, really lengthening the line as long as you can and then push against that resistance that isn't there. Bring the feet a little bit closer together we're going to bend the knees, keeping the knees over the toes. One arm travels down the leg as far as you can. The other arm, bringing the elbow as high as you can. Push away, fingers as high as you can. Stretch towards the ceiling. Extend the arm all the way down. Again, pushing against that resistance. And we'll do the other side. Plie, arm goes down the leg. Elbow to the ceiling. Pushing against that resistance. Extending the line. Opening your circle of space as big as you can. We'll do two more on each side, it's just a little bit faster. Plie, arm goes down, arm comes up, push up and open. Plie, down, really opening up the sides, push up and open. A little bit deeper in your down, higher in your up and open. Last one with the elbow, push up and open, open the legs up to a nice wide, very wide second position. Bring the arms out. We're gonna do just a couple nice deep plies. These are not technically correct ballet plies. I want you to let the hips go just a little bit so you can really feel in the inner thighs and the hip flexors. One more, squeezing the legs, pulling the tummy in and down. Now we're gonna do some lunges and some other stuff at no point should your knee ever be so far over your toe that you're in this position. So just make sure you keep an eye on your knee being straight over. It's okay if it goes a little bit over your toe, but you want that angle to be nice and lined up. So nice wide second position. We're gonna to start to the side. Nice side stretch. Turn so my nose is right over my big toe. Flat back. Pull the tummy muscles in. Curl the spine, tuck the tailbone and back to flat, opening from the top of the head. Belly button in, curl, and lift from the top of the head, flat back. Two more, curl, and flat, and curl, really controlling the tailbone, and flat. Come down to the ankle, hands on the floor if you can, relax the neck, turn both legs to total parallel, so we're in a nice triangle. 
Keep the hands on the ground if you can. If you can't, that's fine. Maybe find something to hold on to. Bend the front leg and stretch it straight. And bend and stretch it straight. At no point should you feel any tearing. Bend and stretch it straight. Just gentle stretching. Bend and stretch it straight. Keep breathing through your stretch. Flex the front foot and put it down and flex and down and flex and down and flex and down. One more bend to the front. We're going to put the back leg on the ground and we're going to set up into our knee lunge. Now here we're going to work on the thigh and the hip flexor a little bit. So we're going to tuck the pelvis so that you feel a nice stretch through the thigh and then release the pelvis and tuck and release. And right as you feel that moment where you're like, ooh, I can't go any farther than that, exhale and breathe and come out of that stretch. So you don't want to hold that uncomfortable place. You want to get right to the edge of your comfort zone and you want to relax there. You never want to push past and cause any pain or discomfort. You want to work within the comfort zone and then try to relax at the edge of the comfort zone. That's what's going to tell your body, it's okay for me to stretch. Even just working slowly here, I'm starting to feel my thigh kind of relax a little bit. Okay, I'm going to turn to face you so that you can see this stretch. We're going to do the same thing, but then after I tuck the pelvis, I'm going to lift the opposite hip just a little bit and come back down. That's going to stretch the thigh, but also a little bit of this um, other... A quadricep muscle right in here. It's not quite the inner thigh, but it's another one of the inside quadricep muscles. So again, tucking the pelvis, hips are square, and I'm going to lift that opposite hip until I feel that stretch. You should also feel the iliopsoas just a little bit and come back down. We'll do that one more time. Tuck and lift the hip and come down. Okay, we're going to sit back on the foot. You can adjust your position here as you need to, if you need to um, sit in this position, that's fine. Um, I actually prefer here because my hips are a little bit more square. I'm going to flex my front foot, really pushing the knee down into the ground and lifting the heel up off of the ground as much as possible, and then relax the heel back down. Lift and relax. So I'm really lengthening the back of the legs. Um, my teacher friend Eileen calls this pointing the heels because you're really reaching the heels and come back down. So I'm flat back, tilting forward, point through the heel and relax and point through the heel and relax just finding that comfort zone point through the heel and relax we'll go ahead and point the toe and come forward and relax and come forward and relax you should be exhaling at the most uncomfortable tightest part of your stretch try to keep your neck and shoulders relaxed while you're doing this a couple more with the flexed foot flex and relax and flex and relax a couple ankle circles you can lean forward into your ankle circles you may feel this on the outside of your ankles I had feel it all the way down to the tips of my toes there's lots of muscles in those feet that need to be relaxed so you can dance we're gonna push forward back into our knee you uh, may need a knee pad for this but we're going to open up that lunge just a little bit more and press forward into the hip flexor. Same idea as before. We're really just relaxing and breathing, going into the edge of your comfort zone and then easing back off. I call this ease in, ease out, or rock on, rock off. So just gentle rocking. We don't want to hold the stretch too long and rock off. Very, very small amount of movement. Focusing on relaxing, supporting your weight with your arms and with your other legs so that your hip can relax. You can also uh, massage up and down in here if you need to. Okay, I'm going to put both hands on the ground and I'm going to twist away from my leg just so I can get a little bit farther into that hip. I'm letting the hip drop down towards the ground so it's kind of a twisted position. Just to kind of get the muscles up on the side of the hip here. Okay, we're going to stretch up into our full lunge, pushing the back leg up 
We're gonna hold this for just a second, really engaging the thighs. We're gonna bend the knee down towards the ground and push it back up. And bend down towards the ground and push back up. And down towards the ground, you should feel your thigh really working hard and push back up. Okay, this is a great one for your arabesque. See if you can balance in a nice closed lunge. Really feeling that thigh and your hip flexor stretching. If you can, reach the arms up and do a bit of a combo like that. Awesome for your arabesque, open up. We're gonna put the hands on the ground and go into a pigeon stretch. Wherever you need to be, that's fine. You may need to bend the leg more, you may need to open it more. Try to keep the hips as square as possible. We're not gonna hold this one too long. We're gonna really focus on supporting the weight with the arms so that your legs can relax. A muscle cannot stretch and engage at the same time. They have to do one or the other. Okay, I'm gonna settle down here just a second into this open position. I'm gonna really lean forward. I'm always breathing intentionally. Okay, I'm gonna push back up into my full lunge. Turn to the side. Now I'm leaning forward, I'm not upright. I'm leaning forward so I can really get into the inner thighs. And I'm gonna switch, stay as low as you can while you switch to the other side. Stay low as you go back to the first side and back to the second side. To the middle, we're gonna walk the feet in to a very wide second. And I'm actually gonna sickle my feet just a little bit so I'm turned in and the ankles are sickled. So it's gonna help me get a nice stretch up on the side of the foot. And I'm just gonna rock slowly from one hip to the other, easing into that comfort zone right to the edge. Exhaling at the tightest point and then gently easing off Just a couple times back and forth. Okay, I'm gonna put the feet about uh, yoga mat distance apart. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna shift my weight all the way to one side. I'm gonna um, stand up just a little bit so you can see. So my pelvis is lined up right over my heel and my hands are down on the ground. You should really feel this in your IT band, in your sartorius and then shift the weight all the way to the other side, tailbone over the heel of the standing leg. So you're very much a um, sideways triangle. And shift back to the first leg, again, right to the point where you get to the edge of that comfort zone, relax, breathe out, and then ease off and go to the other leg. The trick here is convincing, the, convincing your muscles that it is okay for them to relax. Come to the center, Demi plie, bend the knees and stretch. And bend the knees and stretch. Last one, bend the knees. We're going to curl up the spine nice and slow, pulling the belly button in, one vertebrae at a time, and coming up. Awesome. We're going to do the whole thing on the other side. Nice wide second position, arms out, reaching over, really opening up the ribs. Turn to the side. Nose right over the toe, flat back. Belly button in curl and flat. Leading from the head and the tailbone, curl and flat and curl and flat, using those tummy muscles and curl and flat and down. Hands on the ground if you can. Turn to parallel, so both legs are parallel. Hands on the ground, bend the front leg, and stretch. Keep the neck relaxed, bend, and stretch, and bend, just working in the comfort zone, and stretch, never feeling any pulling or tearing, bend. If you can't stretch the leg all the way straight, that's fine. Rocking back so we can flex the front foot, and heels down. If you can't straighten your leg all the way, skip this one. And down. And flex. And down. And flex. 
and down. One more bend to the front to relax, putting the knee on the ground. Come on up. We're going to work on the thigh. You can put your arms where you want. You can also hold on to something if this is a difficult position. Tucking the pelvis and relax. And tucking, relax. Exhaling at the deepest, tightest point of that stretch. And tuck and relax. We're going to do the tuck and tilt, lifting the opposite hip to feel those muscles and come down. This one's a lot tighter for me. Tuck and lift. Everyone's going to have one side a little bit tighter than the other. That's normal. This is very much because uh, a lot of people have one leg that's slightly longer than the other. It can be a very minuscule amount, like one, two centimeters. Tuck and tilt and come down and come back on the leg. Adjust your position if you need to. And that minuscule amount of difference uh, just means that the longer leg is already stretching more than the shorter leg. And so sometimes that can cause a little bit of difference. Flexing that heel, really pointing through the heel. And relax. So I'm tilting the hips forward to my comfort zone. Flex and relax. And flex. Depending on your leg, you may not be able to lift your heel. That's okay. And relax. I really want you to focus on pushing the knee down and just lengthening the back of the leg. Even if your heel doesn't come up, that's fine. And come down. We'll do one more. Flex. And relax. Point the foot. Come forward to that comfort zone. And relax the leg. Come forward. And relax. You use different muscles pointing than you do flexing, so it's important to stretch doing both. And relax. Come forward. And relax. We'll do a couple more flexes, really pressing forward right to the edge of your comfort zone. And relax. And one more flex. And relax. Ankle circles. Really feeling your full range of motion. You may feel this under your arch as well. That's normal. That just means you may need to uh, roll out your feet. I have another video on that that I'll put in the description or in the comments. Okay, we're going to push forward and work on the hip flexors. All right, so a little bit larger than we were doing before. You can um, balance or you can put your hand on the floor. I put my hand on the floor so I can relax the pressure on my knee because I have bad knees. Pressing forward into the hip. Really relaxing, feeling the edge of that comfort zone. And you can use your visualization here as well. Really just imagining those muscles just kind of releasing and allowing themselves to stretch. Visualization is always a great thing to incorporate into your stretching. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, press the hip down to get into those other hip muscles. Iliopsoas a little bit higher than the waist. It connects your hip to your torso. It's very important. And it's a deeper muscle, so it's a little bit harder to get to. Okay. Feeling my hip flexor relax just a little bit more. So that's great. And I'm keeping that knee right over that toe. We're going to go ahead and push up into the full lunge. Really activating the thigh, sinking in the hip. Bend the knee towards the ground and stretch straight. Bend towards the ground and stretch straight. Bend to the ground and stretch straight. And bend and stretch straight. Square yourself up. See if you can balance. Really sinking into that hip. Squaring yourself up. If you can, go ahead and add a back bend. Hands on the ground. We'll go into our pigeon. A 
Like I said, everyone has a tighter and a looser side. This is my tighter side. Pretty big difference. And that's okay. Supporting your weight with your hands so your leg can relax. Rocking into your stretch and rocking out. Really breathing. We'll go ahead and sit down here for just a second, bending the back leg, opening up the hip just a little bit. And really lean forward. You should feel this all the way down the outside of the thigh. We'll go ahead and push back up into a lunge. Turn to the side, keeping that knee over the toe as low as you can. Stay as low as you can as we switch. And switch back. And we'll come to center. We're going to walk the feet together all the way and go into a nice pike stretch, hands on the ground, dropping the head, relax the head, shake the head, yes, no, maybe so, just relax that neck, let it hang, bend the knees, and stretch. We're gonna walk out to our downward dog. Heels are on the ground, lifting the tailbone as much as you can. I'm gonna turn sideways so I can make a note of something in these in this uh, position, what I like to do is come forward and then rock into the stretch and ease out of the stretch. This is especially good if you can't quite get those heels on the ground. Again, rocking into the edge of your comfort zone and then rocking back out. You can also bicycle the legs, shift your weight to one leg, very gently easing off when you're bicycling the legs, you do not want to jump the muscles. You do not want to do this too fast. You should do this over an eight count, a nice slow eight count. Very, very gently, especially when you come off of the leg that you've just been stretching, come off of it very gently. Do not, don't go into a stretch and then jump yourself out of it. Break your muscles out. Go back to center. Go ahead and lift one leg if you can to wherever your extension is. You can open up the hip, get a nice hamstring stretch, feet down, open up the other leg. Your ears should be right in between your elbows and come on down. We'll walk the hands and feet together. I'm going to hold my elbows and then just relax my neck, bend the knees, Hug the knees as you stretch straight. Look at the belly button. Bend the knees. Curl through the spine to come up. Last little thing that we're going to do, we're going to put the arms up. We're going to use the arms and the back to, to um, create some opposition so that we can balance. So my arms are going to go forward as my body goes back. And then pull the arms up to bring myself back up. And I'm going to do one more. Really just letting my back bend whatever way it wants to and come back up. You can let those knees soften as well. It's not a technical combre. It's not a, a correct back bend, but it's just a nice stretch to let your body uh, relax back in whatever way it feels like it needs to. When you're doing that, make sure that your knees don't come in and that your knees stay right over your toes as you come back up. Okay guys, that's it for the side series. It's just a quick little stretch you can do after class, before you go to bed, after your workout. Don't do it cold. Thank you for watching. Check out the membership deals. Uh, you can join the online Beyond the Bar um, exercise database. There's classes like this. I'm doing live streams. Um, there's full length bars that you can follow. Um, there's a membership deal going on right now. You can join for as little as 99 cents for one month. Um, and then the membership is going to increase after that. So definitely check it out. All the links are in the description and I'll see you later.